instruction video provides a quick overview for setting up a single lane test track with the Eliminator NextGen. Each test track system arrives from the factory with the correct setup loaded. This tutorial describes how to modify a single lane setup if you need to add or remove a sensor. To begin, let's enter test track mode. Simply touch the left or right arrow until test track is displayed and then touch the test track icon. At this point, if you're not adding or removing sensors, you can simply touch last setup. If you are making modifications as we are, you must touch single lane. It is very important that you select the correct option for the wiring harness that you have purchased. A single lane wiring harness will not work properly if the Eliminator Next Gen is in dual lane mode. A dual lane wiring harness will not work with the Eliminator Next Gen in single lane mode. If you're not sure which wiring harness you have purchased, consult your instructions or contact Portatree. The Eliminator Next Gen single lane test track supports pre-stage, stage, vehicle reaction time, 60 foot, mid-track elapsed time, mile per hour, and finished elapsed time sensors. A guard beam, also known as a start beam, can be used with the system, but when guard is enabled, vehicle reaction time cannot be measured. Vehicle reaction time is also known as rollout. When a guard beam is enabled, the stage beam can be disabled. However, either a guard beam or a stage beam must be enabled for the single lane test track to work properly. When the stage beam is disabled, pre-stage is automatically disabled as well. The 60 foot, mid-track elapsed time, and mile per hour times are only available when finish line sensors are enabled. Mile per hour can be changed to kilometers per hour by tapping the label. Changing from mile per hour to kilometers per hour also changes the speed trap distance from feet to meters. The speed trap distance can be modified by tapping the distance box. If your system includes a time slip printer or an external display, you can enable each of these from the single lane setup menu. These items can also be enabled from the test track race screen. Once your single lane test track is configured, you can touch save to enter the test track race screen. Thanks for watching this instruction video on setting up a single lane Eliminator Next Gen test track. If you have any questions on a specific setup option, check out the instruction manual, send us an email, or give us a call. Please check out the other instruction videos for Eliminator test tracks at www.portatree.com.